my background, um, of course, at, at New York City Ballet, Mr. Balanchine, uh, he did a few story ballets, but New York City Ballet is known for its neoclassical pieces. And that was my background in the company as a performer. However, at the School of American Ballet, uh, Mr. Balanchine was very careful to have Russian teachers, English teachers, Canadian teachers, Royal Danish teachers. So our background at the School of American Ballet uh, enabled us to learn a variety of styles. And I learned particularly this uh, Vaganova, old Vaganova style of dance um, from Ag Alexandra Danilova herself, who was a Vaganova uh, teacher, dancer, and uh, as a Balanchine dancer. Then later in her life, she taught at the school. And I remember being in variations class, particularly with Danilova, and uh, having her show us in, in great detail and precision what Mr. Petipa would like to have in those variations. And at the time, I thought, well, what are we learning this for? Because we're going to go dance Serenade, we're going to go dance Agon and Stravinsky, and why are we learning? Why do we need to learn these Petipa variations? But I see the value now on the other side is now I have that wealth of knowledge directly from second generation Russian um, straight to me that I'm able to then put forth to my dancers and, uh, and, and explain to them the historical importance of ballets such as Sleeping Beauty and the classical tradition of ballets that are kept and hundreds of years old and uh, they're still valid today. And there's, a, there's definitely a different style there. And I was privileged to learn that style directly from those who learned it directly from Vaganova. It's also important for me to have the company dance a ballet like Sleeping Beauty because of just the historical significance of it. Um, it's part of everyone's ballet training, should be part of everyone's ballet training, to learn, to learn the classics. And um, we enjoy doing our neoclassical things, we enjoy doing uh, uh, some of Mr. Balanchine's things, but it's important for people to learn the history of ballet if they're going to be a professional dancer. And this is, um, Sleeping Beauty is probably one of the true, Sleeping Beauty, Swan Lake, they are the true classics that have withstood the test of time. And it's important for our students to learn, learn about them, learn the variations, and, uh, and learn the significance and the, um, and the responsibility it is to dance these classic historic ballets.